What's going on guys, John with the Pro Cut and today we're making bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. I generally do them on the grill, but today we're gonna to try them in the oven. So I did a little research and it looks like you're gonna to wanna to do these at 375, start for around 15 minutes, check on them, and then extend the time out according to how crispy you want your bacon. So let's get into this. Okay, now you can see I've got most of my jalapenos split already, but I saved one to show you guys. So you're just gonna take and eyeball for the middle, slice it in half down the middle, and then get that stem so you got a little bit on both sides, and then you're just gonna run your knife around, around the edge a little bit. And then that'll come loose and I'm just going to scrape that off into my bowl that I've got over here. You're going to, uh, any of this extra ribbing, you can get, get rid of some of that as well. And just make sure you get all the seeds out. If you want a little bit more heat, you can leave some of the seeds in if you feel like it. But I'll be sharing these with my wife and, uh. Sometimes you don't need all the heat. Sometimes you just like the little bit of heat and the, uh, the flavor that it, it naturally has. So we typically remove the seeds. That's how we like them. Get the other half, same thing. Just run your knife around. Now I saw another fellow use a spoon to get his ribs and seeds out. It looked like it worked pretty well, but I've just always used a knife and so I'm just going to use a knife to save dirty in a spoon right now. Alright, so now they're all ready to go. And I have my seeds saved here. So I'm going to plant some of them out in the greenhouse. See if we can grow some of our own jalapenos. I've got the Philly cream cheese ready to go. And I'm going to get some seasonings to mix up in there with that. Now to my cream cheese, I'm going to add some barbecue rub seasoning generous amount and I'm also going to add some barbecue sauce not too much just a little we are going to add some barbecue sauce to the top of these at the end and this is just all subjective. You can add whatever seasoning you want. You could use cream cheese if you wanted to, or you can use cheddar cheese. You could use a totally different cheese. You know, it's just whatever you like. For us, we like the cream cheese the best. Now, this is the first time I'm adding seasoning and barbecue sauce to the cheese filling itself but we are doing it in the oven instead of on the grill. So I wanted to add a little bit more depth of flavor since we're not gonna have the smoke from the grill. You don't have to mix this up perfect, just get it to where it's pretty good. Now once you have your filling, you can go ahead and start spooning that into your peppers. I don't know if I have enough to do everything, so I'm not going to overfill them. I'm just going to fill them to where they are level full. And then if I have any extra, I'll come back and I'll add to the filling gonna need all the space I have on this little cutting board and now that you can see you have plenty of filling left you can go ahead and start thickening them up a little bit as far as with the amount of filling you're putting in them so let me take a look at these and add a little bit more to some of these that are a little thin this one it looks like I missed a spot didn't get filled in pretty good so add more to that one they could be piled up a little bit 
See, this one's pretty good. We don't want to waste any of this cream cheese. So we'll get it all in there. And for anybody keeping score, I did wash my hands before I started this and I'm about to wash them again right now. So next up, you have your bacon. And I'm gonna take a quick second to give a shout out to Purple on Three and Wine World. Now we're gonna to get to wrapping. All right, and with this next part, you're gonna need some toothpicks, and this is to hold the bacon in place. So let's get started. So you're gonna take a slice of bacon and start on the stem end and just start wrapping your way around to the other end. And for now, I'm gonna go one piece of bacon Per popper and then if there's any leftover on some of these longer ones I'll go ahead and add more bacon and then when you get to the end you put a toothpick through to hold it from coming unwrapped and then just set them on your broiler pan accordingly hopefully I've got enough bacon here to, to do this all We'll see what happens. Like I said, we're going one piece per popper to start. And then if if I have more bacon on some of these longer ones, we'll uh, fix them up. But I don't know that there's enough bacon here. So the idea is you're trying to cover as much of the popper as you can. See, these smaller ones work good for the bacon to cover the whole piece, but the bigger ones, one piece of bacon isn't quite enough, but we'll make do. So looking like I'm gonna have one piece of bacon left over. And some of these peppers are tougher than the others. All right, now we got this big one here and this big one here and I think what we're going to do is split this last piece of bacon in half. Take our toothpick back out and then add this half a piece of bacon to the end. Like so. And then same with this one, pull out that toothpick. And we're gonna actually, I'm gonna unwrap this one and start up at the top a little bit better. And go ahead and rewrap that and then add this second piece, the half a slice here, and then put the toothpick back in and then we're going to go ahead and arrange these a little bit better so we can kind of fit them all into place all right so there's that much i'm going to wash my hands again i'm going to set the toaster oven to 375 degrees and we're going to let these go for 15 minutes and take a look and see what the bacon looks like and we'll add time from there to get it to our desired level of crispiness So now the poppers are out of the oven. It took way longer than 15 minutes. I mean, that was a ridiculous estimate by the video that I watched. Uh, I lost track of time. It was probably closer to 45 minutes. And uh, honestly, they could stand to go a little bit longer. They're really not to the level of crisp I like, but I'm sick and tired of waiting to eat. So it's on. Now we go in for the taste test. They're still quite hot. All right, 
these are real good jalapeno poppers go ahead and make yourself some and don't forget save the seeds and put them out in your garden and Donovan says to smash that super thanks button he needs some dog treats